on. Okay. Oh. Getting get going oh. live. We're live. Wow. Aloha, everyone. Aloha, Ohana. It's really lovely to greet you in this way across the Pu'uvai, the, the living waters of the heart. Uh, Medine and I are just so grateful to be tuning in in this way, uh, in this uh, special sacred connection from Maui to each of you in the Maui of your heart, in the aloha of your heart, in the living waters of your heart. And uh, we know that many of you are tuning in from all over across the globe. Uh, some of you we are very familiar with, and some we are meeting for the very first time. So we say aloha to each of you, and uh, we say mahalo. Thank you so much for, for joining us um, in this first of three aha aloha global <laughs> ohana gatherings uh, from aloha in action, as we say to kind of give you an understanding. Uh, Medin and I are, have been born and raised here in Hawaii and uh, growing up with our families. And uh, we didn't study. Um, we didn't study being um, Hawaiian. We didn't study or get degrees in aloha. It was an everyday living expression of life that came from the nurturing of our families. And so uh, what we offer is, is just that, two voices, loving Hawaii, loving each of you, and loving the fact that we get to connect in this way to simply share our breath of spirit with each of you from that place of uh, non-authority, non-expertise. <laughs> we are just here in the multiple ways that you and I, as the garlands, the flowers of our sacred lands, wherever we may be, on this beautiful body of our honua, our mother earth, each of us, Carry the, carries this essence, carries this love for our land, for the places of our birth, for all our experiences. And as we are collectively rising in this way, we are each being called to bring forth our greatest passions, our greatest gifts. I know many of you have sat around the moonlight or the ocean or the, a sunrise a volcano, um, the snow, we a fire. We have sat around together being fed by the unknown spirit that has always tickled each and every one of us. So the reason why Medina and I are here sharing with you in this moment is because many of you sent us emails and said, hey, can you share something live? And so we decided to offer uh, today in April, uh, next month, May, um, I forget the date, May 18th, uh, and also June 21st, 21st for the, the solstice. And then we will see where we hula together, where... Uh -huh. The Uwehe Amis and Slides takes us <laughs> across the planet or into each other's homes. Uh, this is a, a moment where we are living in great change. And this mighty wave, this, this, this beautiful, beautiful nalu, this huge wave of change is not only shaking us and stirring us, uh, out of our complacency, but is also giving voice to that internal, that, that internal permission, internal voice, that leo loa, that grand voice that has always been inside, embedded. But with the, the present moment of being 
uh, in our bubbles, we will say, our aloha bubbles at home, <laughs> or our champagne or wine bubbles <laughs> at home. We are really in this wave of change. And many of us are in the emotional upheaval or emotional expressions from the, the, the vast ways that we express from the positive to negative, to good, to bad, to, to the middle road. We are each being called to sacrifice the old ways of judgment, separation, um, fear. We, we, we want to place this on the sacrificial order or the sacrificial altar of this new wave that is rising into something that is greatness manifests that greatness inside of us that has been calling and stirring for so long. And with all this unknowing, there is a knowing that we are, um, as our friend Leslie has shared with us many times, something great is rising. Something greater in this now moment is rising. And as this wave of change is caressing, shaking, freezing, um, loving, all we have to do is take a deep breath, like now, and ground, and be in gratitude that we as a collective wave of consciousness, a collective wave of aloha, get to surf together, united in one voice, one heart, one global ohana, one aloha, one lokahi, ikapu'ufai, the unity in the peace. So with that, um, we are just kind of giving you this vision, this, this wide vision, and we don't know where we're going to go with all of it. We only know that it is aloha. We only know that this breath of spirit that anoints the pathway of each and every one is what is calling us to go deeper, 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 and again, deeper. So as scary as it, it could be, as frightening um, as it, it can be in certain moments, as as this change is washing upon us and knocking uh, in our internal doorways, we who are signed up in this now moment collectively, each of you that have chosen to be here right now, we get to be those individual puas again that are being strung along in the garden of aloha, in the garden of change, in the garden of something greater being, uh, being risen this moment, we get to flourish and remember who we are as one. Um, we are here. Medina and I are here with you. You are not alone. Call on us in the heart-to-heart -heart prayers that we each call on us. Whether we can see, feel, touch, we are in this vibration. So we say mahalo, mahalo for being on this live YouTube broadcast with, with us. Uh, we're sitting here in our home. You might hear the chickens. <laughs> uh, you might hear the birds. We're... Our home is located on the island of Maui, on um, Hawaiian homes and Haleakala, in an area called Vai Oha, Vai the waters, Oha the breath of the ancestors. Our beloved Auntie Mahilani Poipoi, Poi, when we asked her, Auntie, what is the name of this area? Because um, on the map, it's Vai, Vai Ohuli, and she said, 
girls, it is vai'oha, the breath that um, the living waters, the breath of the living waters that collects against the, the hillside, the mountains, Haleakala, right behind us. There's all these clouds that begin to, to gather um, over our home and it gets filled and then it blesses us. And so with that vision in mind, this vai'oha message, may the vai in each of our living waters this breath of spirit that is bringing us together, cloaked by the, the, the breath of each and every one of our ancestors in this beautiful, beautiful gathering. May it anoint each and every one of us wherever we are. For we know that this breath is the prayer of unity. We would like to open with a song. This is going to be on our next CD. It is actually a chant um, that <clears throat> it's called Hele Ke Aloha No Kukui Puka. Now, for those of us that do not know, Kukui Puka is a sacred site on the island of Maui where Medina and I have the privilege of being the kahus, the caretakers. We've been caretaking it for many, many years. Your donation is going to help with the upkeep of this sacred site, as well as some of our Aloha in Action projects uh, here on Maui and perhaps globally. Kukui Puka is a doorway, is the doorway to the light where we get to offer our prayers wherever we be. It is a physical location, but each and every one of us is the kukui puka. We have it right here in our hearts. So wherever we are is the kukui puka. We don't have to physically come to know that it is so. This chant is written uh, when we give a lay, a lay of love that is honoring the spirit of the beloved that is coming. So it, it, it speaks about um, the power in this lay, the, the warmth in this lay, the lay that binds us together because it is a collection of every individual pua, every individual fragrance and flower that begins to spread out all across the land as it is carried in the ways that it is carried, through prayers, through our feet, through our intention. And that as we walk with grace and humility upon the sacred lands and landscapes and places that we live, that this, um, this adornment shines this, this, the light seated in the kukui puka of our, of our hearts eternally, forevermore, in the breath of the living waters that are embedded in each of us. So um, here it is. Oh, 
Tai hoke aloha Le ala ho nau na pume hana la He le i kui na pua ho o la Kalana ki la me ka ha a ha Aloha no kuku i puka Pula ma mauloa no ka hala mai E le i mana i hoke aloha Le am la ho na una pume hana la Na pua ho o la ha Kalana ki la ha me ka ha 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 Ele i ke aloha no pupu i puka Pula ma mauloa no ka ha la vai We hope you like that one. As I was playing it, I was thinking it would be lovely for some of you hula dancers out there to haku a hula. I know like a couple of you, I've seen some of your names like, okay, maybe pula maha ole and lehulu aloha. Some of you can haku a me, uh, some motions. Uh, we're going to do it again next month as well. Where was I? It's also coming on our new CD, which it, we're in the studio right now recording. And um, so it'll be available when it's available. So grateful. Mm. I had a lot of things I wanted to share with you. Uh, we had... Medina and I had a lot of talk story yesterday um, on our porch. And one of the things we wanted to share with, with uh, each of you was um, a universal truth, a universal truth that, that sometimes, you know, in our way of, of our old patterns of thinking, we think that only our story is meaningful. Only our experiences and our ways is the way. Well, it's everybody's way. You know, truth is everybody's way. And um, one of the things that we have come to know about universal truth is... Is we are here to experience duality. Yes, the extremes, good, bad, wrong, right, all of, all of it, all of it. And it is um, on that broad spectrum of life. And we're learning to embrace the whole, the whole thing, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because they are all part of the one, the oneness, the family. And we know this in our soul, deep in our soul, that we are all one. Except when we came here, we planned to play a game. And part of that game is to forget where we come from, from that love, from love. So when we came here, we said, okay, let's just forget everything and see if we can get back to neutrality. So you got that broad spectrum here, neutrality. So no judgment. We are letting go judgment. That's really one of those difficult ones that we um, are experiencing. But now is the time to integrate all that we know to be true. And that's one of the truths that you love one. And I'm gonna use Uncle Donald Trump as, a, as, as an example, because we love him. He is helping us wake up to what is, what is right now, that he's still part of the oneness of all that is. And um, yeah, so lots of practicing going on this time, time for embodiment of, of love, of aloha, the deep sea that we all know. So, <laughs> I 
Um, one of the things that I've been playing a lot with uh, since we've been home in our bubbles is uh, this idea of uh, what they're calling social social distancing, um, physical distancing, where you know we're all having to physically be uh, separated from each other in the particular dwellings or like if we're going out shopping uh, for food that we wear the mask and we um, keep our distance from each other. And one of the things that I've been playing with around my own playing with this, this universal truth of duality, good or bad, um, is that there have been many times in my life where um, even when I had the freedom to be out there traveling, you know, previous to this particular bubble moment, I have, I have social distanced myself many, 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 many times. So even if I was physically there, in a room or just wherever I was, many times I myself would enter a room, say, and just kind of scanned everything and feel the energy. And, and there were moments where I too have judged and separated internally. I have, I have social distanced my whole life. And what is what is rising for me is that I don't want to play small anymore. Being here in this internal bubble of life or where just Medina and I with our father and our sister are here um, on the land. Uh, this being in the home is really helping me break out of the illusion of social distancing. Um, you remember growing up, you know, as children and we like, there's a group of us and then we don't like that one or, you know, we, 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 we judge another one and we just separate from each other. And we, we could be very, very cruel in this social distancing. What I'm finding is that it's not so much physically social distancing. I was distancing from my heart. The social distancing was about all the judgment and fear that I was carrying that disconnected me from living my truest authentic self. And so I've been playing a lot in this way that where am I in every moment um, distancing from that core or that authentic aloha, um, where am I wasting precious love energy um, from moment to moment to moment? And it will come in all, all sorts of ways, all sorts of ways. So this, this idea of, uh, uh, of social distancing is is really helping me um, discover more of this internal healing, uh, rising. Uh, sometimes I'm judging myself when I know I've stepped into it, uh, but I'm playing a lot with this social distancing. And um, even when I have gone out to, to get provisions, there's friends that, you know, when you're standing in line, uh, there's friends that you see and you can't, you know, you can't hug them. <laughs> and, and that's, you know, in the land of Aloha, that can be very challenging. So we just, you know, shaka, elbow, blow a kiss, uh, collect. Uh, we're, we're starting a bank of hugs. So uh, we're collecting in our bank, our piggy bank, perhaps, or yep. our, our piggy bank, bank hugs. hugs. And so uh, we invite you to to start your own collection <laughs> as well, uh, your your piggy bank of hugs. 
so that uh, when when this is when when this change um, this beautiful change allows us to be out and about and mm -hmm. touching each other, then we will be glued together. <laughs> we will be really stuck um, because there's a lot of um, high interest that <laughs> this this hug bank. <laughs> Is, is you happening. know what? You know what's happening now. A lot of people are giving us masks to wear because we have to wear them when we go out. Um, it's law now. So if we go to the store, you gotta wear your mask. But you know what's beautiful? That you can recognize people even with the mask on, even with that on, because you can see their smile in their eyes. It happened when we were shopping. I said, "Hey, brother, I know you're smiling behind that mask." So that doesn't stop you from being in the state of aloha, being in the state of aloha with all of this going on. It doesn't stop. And you know what we're noticing also? People are kinder and they're really grounded and listening to what's going on. And um, it's really beautiful. But we're also feeling compassion for these beautiful ones all over the world. Whatever the struggle, if it's struggle, if it's or if they're excited, if um, they have COVID-19, those that passed on, we are so compassionate to these ones for helping us to this point of huli, kahuliao. It's that time. This is what we've been waiting for. And so we send um, honor to those on the front line in the hospitals, um, doing all the tests, working in the stores so that we can get provisions. It's, it's, it's amazing. And now it's a good time to create, to be grounded. Uh, you can do yoga, do some kind of practice. And now you got all the time in the world to do what you wanted to do. When the excuse was, I don't have time. Well, now you do. Now we do. And that's what we're doing these days. So, um, I would like to just kind of pause. I just got a note from Mike. And um, shall we? Uh, we're, we have a couple options. But I think the option I'm going to choose is some question and answers. Um, so uh, shall we read or... Um, Oh, love, love, love. Thank you. What would you like to hear? Is there any um, Aloha, Gary. song, um, question? Uh, I'm going to save the meditation for the end. Hug bank. I love it. Yes. Hug bank. Okay. Well, I, you know what? While you're dreaming your questions... We're going to sing a song, My Kupuna in the Light. And I know some of you know this hula. So wherever you are, please please do it. Um, we're singing this song uh, for all the different, the kupunas that have crossed. Uh, many of, there, there are many, um, many young people perhaps uh, that are not going to have their grandparents around, especially with this COVID-19. Um, some of the souls that have chosen to to leave our our planet at this time are really gifting us with great blessings. Um, and so we want to offer this song, my kupuna in the light, uh, for all the ancestors and for the the source of spirit that um, brings us all together every time we remember who we are as love. In the light I feel the heart of my Buddha. I greet them in my path as I 
for a song that's what's going request on. for a song for healing we will that was a song for healing <laughs> we are healing mm, all the trauma in our dna we are healing all the trauma that we have experienced in many lifetimes with this blessing of the covid 19 mm. that is blessing us in the spirit of ge generosity and love and compassion by not moving into fear. As we are in our bubbles of humanity, our bubbles of authentic love inside this placement, this bubble of opportunity, this bubble of this mighty wave, we are each being invited to remember that we are the hale kukui. Um, we are those um, way showers of light. We are those beacons of light pulsating internally so that Externally, this particular vibration, this particular frequency of gratitude and light will be the norm, will be the new norm. As we are here in our bubble, there is tremendous opportunity. And as these, um, these hale ipo kukuis, these, these ipus of the embodiment of light, as we remember that, we are changing and healing and embracing all the all the the duality of good, bad, right, wrong. We are healing all of that. 
So I know um, there are many right now that are either in hospital because they've had a transfusion uh, for leukemia. Michael, that's you. Mm. Um, some of you are, are separated from your beloveds because they live in another town. Some of you are separated because of, of specific choices, um, political, emotional. What we must remember is that we are those ipu kukuis, the hale ipu kukuis, those, those beings of light that are here to shine on and to move in a direction that allows this light to be permeating everywhere, anointing all that is. Um, uh, when, when we have that, these requests of sing a healing song, you know that every song we sing is healing. Every song is healing. So uh, with that, um, what would you... Ah, Vaitapumele, okay. All right, whoever requested, <laughs> this is for you. Dance, please. So uh, this Vaitapumele is a healing song, and it is for our horn Honua, our beautiful Mother Earth. Uh, here we go. Oh, 
Take a breath, feel our Honua, our mother, bask in this energy of aloha, allowance, acceptance of all that is. We are grateful. We are grateful for being able to live, to breathe, to be present as the way shores that we have chosen to be. We are grateful for the gift of all spirit, for the gift of the promise of eternity as those ipukukuis, those containers of light that embody the preciousness of acceptance and love and warmth, especially in this moment, in this time. And as those ipukukuis, those way shores, we breathe in, into our beautiful mother who breathes into us, who breathes through us to be expressed everywhere. We are here together with each of you as she is here with each of us as our kupuna, our ancestrals, the gods and goddesses, the light above and below, within, without, all one. As the magnificent wave rises within, we breathe and we ground, we breathe, and we ground, we breathe, and we ground the living waters of the Vaitapu, the living waters of the eternal aloha that permeates within and without, that changes everything, that creates the vibration and the frequency and it moves into creating the passionate display of all our collective creativity, as well as individual creativity. We will continue to dream and create together and celebrate being in this bubble of <laughs> unity. <laughs> this ho'olokahi bubble of unity together. Don't forget your bank of hugs. I don't know how much more time we have. Huh? Oh, cool. Oh, we have 15. Thank you, Mike. If it wasn't for Mike and oh. Edith, yeah. your aunties <laughs> would be all bala bala over here. <laughs> We wouldn't be know what to do, <laughs> but we're so great, grateful for this technology mm. that has helped us to, to meet all of you, to be with all of you. 
um, in in this treasured uh, in, in this treasured time. Looks like we have something coming in. What should I read? Okay, Eo Vahipanala. Okay, <laughs> it's like musical requests. Sure, we can do this one. Um, we invite you to please sing it with us. Eo Vahipana. Eo, the call. Vahipana is a, a sacred place. It can be a stone. It can be the bubbles we occupy. Um, 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 sacred place that has that is timeless, that is eternal. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
Blessing. Stay there. Feel the joy. Stay there. Feel the ancestral cloak embracing your backbone. Breathe deep. Breathe deeper. One more time. Eola. I feel enlivened. have the words with me but um shall I get it yeah so we have several um musical requests <laughs> I'm so glad you're requesting thank you you know I, I want to share you know the songs um they come they just come they come in many ways <laughs> wherever I am, sometimes in the shower, uh, sometimes walking, you know, in the mountain, in the rain, in the morning, it just comes this, this ticklish, this feeling, this cloak comes. And I simply write what I hear uh, with the melodies and with the words. So the words that come are just, um, from Mother Earth, and many times it is not in alignment with a particular language. I'm going to say it's just the language of that comes when I open up and hear it. And even if it sounds Hawaii, sometimes it's not in that Hawaii language authority expertise. And I share this because it's just the energy of the language that is. Um, that is being offered. And it's just a way of expressing uh, my love and our, and passion and um, celebration um, 
as life. And so for many years, uh, Medina and I have been sharing our music globally with many of you, and many of you are live streaming, uh, are streaming it on your various um, recording technology, you know, your devices, which we are so grateful for. And we know that many of you use it in your praxis, whether it's hula or your massage. And we are very grateful for that as well, because when it began to rain the songs and the inspiration, I was most afraid to even share it because it wasn't a particular way. Um, and it had to be packaged a particular way. But what I have come to know is to just share and it will find its way. This particular song was written many, many years ago. We were out on the west side of Maui in an area called um, Hono, the Ritz Carlton. Uh, oh. Honoko. No? Kapalua. Ka Kapalua, Kapalua. yeah. Past Honokawai. <laughs> All the Honos, I'm spazzing out as you can see right now. <laughs> Um, we were in, yeah, we were in Kapalua and we were spending the night out there and there were so many kupuna in the light, jumping in our, jumping in, jumping in our hotel room. And so, <laughs> um, this, this, this is a song, your love, koaloha, that speaks of your love. Mm -hmm. Ike ha, ika 
Kapung na bayda Kamana Omono So, my loves, I hope you come back next month to play with us. Um, reach out to us, if you wish, uh, heart to heart. And if um, you reach out and we don't answer the telephone, you can always dial in spirit because we're going to hear it anyway. <laughs> We are so grateful that you have joined us in this um, uh, Aha Aloha, this gathering um, of our global ohana in this particular way, where many of us get to play with technology in this way. And um, oh. keep the faith. Be present, be yeah. present, be present. Yeah. One more song. Can we? Oh, yeah. No. Okay. Okay. We hear all the Hana holes. Oh, no. yeah. Okay, here. Just one jumped out. Okay. The ocean life gets to rest these days. It's there's, really nice. It's really beautiful to, to see, see the, the sky. ocean. There's just the animals, just the sea life. The flowers. Yeah. And so us, beautiful. And to us. see ourselves in the springtime. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. So here we go. Okay.
Beloved Ohana, you are here. You are right here. You see this beautiful Lehua? You are that. And so what is seeded in this Lehua, may it grow, may it live, may it thrive, may it dream, may it create in the wonder of this moment, above and below, within and without. The harmony of this bubble we get to play with is a magical, powerful, grateful expansion of the unknown. <laughs> May we each be caressed in what is greatness rising within us. Because mm. as we know, something greater, greater is, is rising, rising. Oh. again. Something greater is rising. Something greater is rising. As aloha. Mm. <coughs> dream big. And when you think you've dreamed big, dream bigger. bigger. <laughs> dream bigger. Aloha to all. We love you. Mahalo nui loa. Mahalo for being Thank um, you so alive much. in this way on this planet. As those way shores, those kukui, those ipu kukuis. And um, let us hear from you heart to heart. You are not alone. We are here together, and each thank, of us. Thank you for chatting. <coughs> so wonderful. Okay. Blessings. Aloha. We love you. Uiho. Malama pono. Oh. <coughs> Here, water. Mm.